It's Friday night in the city of Santa Ana, and members of the Santa Ana Police Department's elite unit, the Strike Force, are on patrol. And we're going to be going out doing some crime suppression in uh, areas that have been identified by, by our crime analysis unit as being areas that has had a little bit more activity. So we're going to try to target those areas. And within minutes of leaving the station, the officers get their first felony arrest of the night. We found that the driver was unlicensed and subsequently searched him and found that he had a, um, a small uh, baggie of cocaine. It looks like he's already used some of it or most of it. All you need is a 0 .02 uh, grams for an actual dose. So you know, with 0.5, you would have well over 5 those is possibly enough for everybody here today. But this isn't the type of crime this special 10-man unit is out looking for. They happen to be Orange County's only full-time SWAT team, and since they were formed four years ago, they've been used specifically to target areas of high crime throughout the city and specialize in catching violent offenders and career criminals. We've got 10 guys that are motivated uh, to go out in the streets. Uh, a lot of us know where to go to have an impact within the city. Uh, we get a lot more training. We uh, train on a weekly basis and uh, we get the opportunity to work out on the streets and do a high crime, high crime suppression. And under the leadership of Sergeant John Folo, this unit has proven to be overwhelmingly effective. In just their first 18 months out on the streets, they were responsible for over 1,400 arrests, more than half of which were felonies. And on this particular night, the seven officers on duty made seven arrests, including four felony arrests, all within four hours. What these officers called a slow night because of the heavy rain. Ended up with a, uh, a parolee driver who uh, affiliated with uh, one of our longtime gangs. Um, inside the car we found a quantity of methamphetamine. Hey George, there's another good little chunk right here. He happens to be on parole for a, a weapons violation. So this is somebody that, that we want to target. You know, he's involved in, in uh, you know, narcotics activity, gang activity. He's on parole for weapons, so this is somebody that we do want to send back to prison. Pretty satisfying when uh, residents there, you know, walk up to you and and, uh, and thank you for constantly being out there and making a difference. But after four years of leading this special unit and close to 30 years on the job, Strike Force Sergeant John Folo will be retiring. We're happy for him because you know that's the end of his career and, and he wants to retire, and it's always a a happy story whenever someone successfully retires with a successful career, which he has had. Uh, now, being a little selfish, I wish he wasn't retiring because, we're, like I said, we're losing a great leader, a great uh, friend, and someone who's brought us together from the beginning. I don't look at it that it's ever been about just me. These guys have been making me look good for a long time, so they're very capable of continuing on, and uh, they'll probably uh, produce things that I never even thought of, so um, I couldn't be more proud of them. For the Orange County Register, I'm Tanya Lyon.